Well, then there are a certain uh, apologetic questions. So the pre uh, preface introduced six common questions or objections to the Christian faith that are commonly brought up by non-Christians. And so each one they're going to look at the one of the each of the four they're going to kind of present uh to the table six uh, different claims or questions that uh are kind of synonymous with um apologetics uh, uh what an unbeliever might ask or what a uh, questioning uh, believer might ask uh, and so uh, th these ones are to provide insight for how each method kind of takes these questions and answers them and so the six are one why should we uh believe in the bible so uh the the, the foundational uh guide that uh each of these ones would claim uh to be true uh, uh to, to to be important to the christian faith how should we believe in the bible two don't all religions lead to god is the second question that all will answer three how do we know that god exists probably uh, a, a big question uh, there that will uh, show the diversity of, of these four. Four, if God exists, uh, does uh, if God does exist, why does he permit evil? Again, always have to go back to the theodicy. Uh, it's uh, probably one of the biggest questions out there, so uh, uh, get used to talking about it. And five, aren't the miracles of the Bible spiritual myths or legend and not literal facts? So there's where kind of your history is coming into play there. And six, why should I believe what Christians claim about Jesus? So uh, it could be uh, historical, it could be scientific, it could be uh, uh, foundational truths, it could just be uh, de fide. And so each of these, again, um, will have to answer these six questions. And again, uh, what, what Tony was talking about is the, the laying out of material. These six questions you'll find in each of these sections. So again, we just want to use this as a reference point and say, here's where we're going to um, look at fetism because I don't know too much about that out of all of them. Um, it's going to really lay out kind of who the, who the main people are, uh, what they say, and then um, uh, how, how does it interact with the six questions uh, previously and how does it uh, answer these questions as well. All right, and so that's how each of the four apologetics approaches uh, answers the, uh, the, you know, the six uh, apologetic questions raised here and how these answers may be integrated will be considered, they tell us, in the third chapter of each of the remaining parts of this. So the first chapter is the historical, the second chapter deals with the meta-apologetic questions uh, that we looked at, you know, how this particular approach, let's say the, um, you know, the classical approach, how it deals with the question of theology and philosophy and history and science and so forth, those are the meta uh, uh, apologetic questions. And then finally, how does, for instance, the um, classical approach deal with the six questions? Why should we believe in the Bible? Don't all religions lead to God? How do we know that God exists? If God does exist, why does he do evil? Miracles, and then finally, Christian claims about Jesus. So that will take place, they say, in the third chapter of each of the sections of the four apologetic approaches. So that's kind of a basic introduction they give us here in chapter three uh, of the book. Right.